It's the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Jody Biasi of the Locked On Sabres podcast. ButcherBox has all you need for a tasty, stress-free holiday season. This Black Friday, your search for amazing deals on high-quality protein ends with ButcherBox. They're offering their best deal of the year. Choose your free steak for a year. Choose between two New York strip steaks, filet mignons, or ribeyes to get free in every box for a whole year when you join. Sign up today at ButcherBox.com slash NHL and use the code NHL to choose your free steak for a year and get $20 off. That's ButcherBox.com slash NHL. Use the code NHL to get this special Black Friday deal plus $20 off. What is going on, hockey heads? Welcome back to your source for fantasy hockey news. It's the Tuesday edition of the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. We are breaking down all of the struggling fantasy stars that could use a big change of scenery, benefit in value, and take your team over the top. We're also taking a look at these Florida Panthers, baby. What's going on down south? Thank you for joining us. Let's tap in. Your Locked On Fantasy Hockey, your daily podcast on fantasy hockey. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to your source for daily fantasy hockey breakdowns and daily degenerate gambling news. It's the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast, and I'm joined, as always, by my esteemed co-host, Mr. Steele Roden. On this side of the microphone, it's your boy, Big Flip Livingstone, and thank you so sincerely much for making us your first listen every single day. We wouldn't be here without y'all and we'd be doing this for y'all. So check this out. Today's episode is brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app and save. Create an account. Use code Locked On NHL for 20 bucks off your first purchase. You got to be checking out the Game Time app right now. Steal, right now, I'm feeling very blessed to continue to come on this show every single day and talk to you about all of the top news from around the NHL. Alexander Barkov on Friday took a little bit of a nasty knee on knee and the quote from head coach Paul Maurice was quote, they got lucky. He's still going to be out day to day. They have some other roster news that we want to talk about. Montour, Ekblad back in the lineup. We're going to shed a little bit of light on that Panthers squad. But more importantly, I think on today's episode, Steele, there are some intriguing fantasy names out there that are really struggling right now that you can't help but feel that there's still value there. There's still talent but maybe they just need out of their current situations. I know we have a number of intriguing players to get at because you and I both know that if these things do come to fruition and you pounce on a player that does skyrocket in value down the stretch, that could be the difference. But the difference for today's episode, my friend, is there is no difference. We're bringing the heat, (laughs) giving it right over to you. Barkov, I don't know if you saw that play. I really do think they avoided major injury with this one. Such a good player, such an important piece on a team that I still think can make some noise in that Atlantic division sitting in second place. Yeah, it was a very scary situation, but it could have been a lot worse on Barkov's injury. And like you said from Paul Maurice, luckily he was able to step out of the way for Mm -hmm. most of that collision from Lacombe. And and hopefully he's back for next game. He is going to be out for Monday's game. And, uh, especially for GMs out there who have him. I have him in a couple of leagues, so obviously you're missing him for a big game. But again, luckily that it's not more severe of an injury. But more to your point about the return of Aaron Ekblad and Brandon Montour and the overall success so far. You know, when we did our preseason predictions, I knew this team was going to be good. I still thought they were going to be a playoff contending team, but I didn't expect them to be this good. And they've been. there's multiple reasons why they've had success early on this season I agree. so far. They haven't been the perfect team, uh, obviously, but they get a full group effort every single game. And mm-hmm. almost every game, you get one or two players to step up and make a game winning play on top of that. You know, whether it's Kachuk and Bennett one time and then Barkov and Reinhardt or someone from the bottom six who, you know, steps up every now and again. And obviously, the additions on the blue line this offseason have right. been spectacular. Great Ekman Larson Great point, uh, has been, you know, better than I expected uh, and than what I gave him credit for before the season started. And he's carrying that workload offensively from the D men's perspective. You know, obviously uh, even uh, Nico Mikola has been pretty solid on the back end. Yeah. Sure, uh, uh, yep. Gustav Forsling has been a little bit disappointing. I expected a little bit more offensive output from him, but Me overall too. you're getting something 
from one player, one or two players, almost every single game. So that's been one of the reasons of why they've been most successful, but probably the most important reason is they're actually getting some great goaltending from Sergei Bobrovsky and Anthony Stolarz. You know, agreed. Last, if you look at last year, you know, at the end of the season, they were ranked fifth in goals for and nineteenth uh, uh, and nineteenth in goals against. Mm-hmm. And currently this year, you know, obviously it hasn't been the offensive juggernaut output that we've seen in the past. Right now, they're ranked. 21st in uh, in goals for but now they're ranked seventh in goals against this season and that's again going to credit for go. the goaltending with Broski uh playing his uh playing his heart out you know the the uh, save percentage could be a little bit higher he's at a 907 save percentage mm-hmm. not too shabby eight four and one on the season and then Stellars has been a great backup three one and oh so far I think what's interesting too steel is if it not for another historically good how do the Boston Bruins only have one win uh, why like it's bothering me now to a very very ex- serious extent but anyway if not for those boston bruins the florida panthers sit atop this division so we have to give them some respect obviously after what they did last year on that run yeah that run did cost them brandon montour and eric aaron ekblad up until this point in the season these two players return this is huge for this team a team all of a sudden now flush with defensive depth And I think what you might see, Steele, is a move from this Florida Panthers team. We're going to talk about players that are going to maybe benefit from one of these trades that I'm kind of thinking the Florida Panthers need to make. But let's not forget what they were able to do and accomplish last season because that has translated over to a pretty good start this season. And when you take a look at Anthony Stellars as well, I'm not trying to get away from Alexander Barkov at all. Just wanted to shine a light on the overall success of this club so far. Anthony Stellars has also been solid 3 one and oh with good numbers however he has beat really bad teams bringing it back to barkov steel six goals 11 and assists on the season 20 plus minutes of ice time day to day i understand but if this florida team wants to be for real they pick up their game when barkov is out this is the captain this is the player other than matthew kachuk that is clearly the most important all around so i think my eyes are peeled on florida over the next couple of games What I do want to also say, though, is make sure from a betting perspective, you're tapped into all of these changes. There's no bets tonight, so we're going to keep today's episode short and sweet. But a lot of injuries, a lot of roster updates, those will affect lines. They'll affect your bet steal. And if you're okay, we'll go to break, and then maybe we'll go to some of these struggling stars that could use a change of scenery. Yeah, just one quick thing to add on to this Please. conversation about Montour and Ekblad. Like, obviously, yes. all Panther fans and Florida players are super ecstatic and excited to get those two back into the lineup. But you also want to make sure it's a very smooth transition because at times when players come back from these sorts of injuries, mm-hmm. it kind of disrupts the flow and the chemistry that players have already developed, especially in the first uh, six, seven weeks of the season. So, obviously, they're talent, they're super talented. They're mm-hmm. going to bring a lot to the game. But you want to yeah. make it as seamless as possible. Uh, sure. and you know, not disrupt any of the flow. Barkov leading the league also in plus minus deal. You cannot take away from his importance to this club's overall success. Fantasy wise, I don't think we really need to address this too much. I think he's going to be back in only a matter of games. This homestand, though, if he misses it, it is a four game homestand. There's what I'm reading is maybe they give him that chance and then run him back out there on the road. So you might have to tap into Monday's waiver wire episode if you need to fill him into next week as well. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your ears tapped to the pod. Next up, after the break, we're taking a look at some struggling fantasy pieces that I think steal with the change of scenery. There's some rumors around these players already changing teams. They could skyrocket in value fantasy-wise. No bets, but bring in all the fantasy heat that you need. Today's episode is brought to you by Game Time. You never want to be frustrated when you're going out to buy your tickets or use them for your favorite events, whether it's comedy, sporting events, anything. It's got to be legit, and that's why you've got to be downloading the Game Time app. Game Time is fast and easy. The best way to buy tickets for all of your sports, music, comedy, and theater and events near you. See the view from your seat before you buy so you know exactly what to expect when when you arrive all in prices show up 
up front. You know what you're getting with Game Time. Steele and I love using the Game Time app, of course, mostly for buying some tickets to the old NHL, which they have all kinds of options for no matter what city you're in. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app. Create an account and use code LOCKDOWNNHL for 20 bucks off your first purchase. Terms apply. Create an account. Redeem code L-O-C-K-E-D-O-N-N-H-L for 20 bucks off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets. Lowest price guaranteed. Hey everyone, Chris from Locked On Avalanche here. If you like using debit over credit, I just learned about something that's definitely a game changer. Discover Cashback Debit. It's a checking account that rewards everyone with cash back on everyday purchases, which means you can get cash back on NHL tickets or head-to-toe hockey gear to make this season a total win. Check out eligibility and terms at discover.com slash cashback debit. Discover Bank, member FDIC. And thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Locked On has launched the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube. Locked On Sports Today is here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with local experts of Locked On. Plus, our national shows covering every single league. Go to Locked On Sports Today on YouTube and subscribe to the first ever national sports 24 7 streaming mm. channel and thank you so much for tuning in for today's episode of the locked on fantasy hockey thank podcast you. continue mm. to hit that subscribe hit the follow button leave a five-star review we appreciate all that five love stars support. baby show us every single day moving Still. on though to fantasy hockey players who well fantasy value could skyrocket uh if a potential trade to were happen and it- uh Sorry, you there? Sorry, you're cutting it out on in and out on me there, Steele. My bad, brother. It's getting a little choppy. All I was gonna say was before we get to that, what's interesting is Oliver Ekman Larson is still getting deployed on that first foul power play unit for the Panthers. I just wanted to mention that because that Montour Ekblad angle that you brought up is perhaps almost more intriguing from a fantasy angle than Barkov because I think he will be back. And secondly, Aaron Ekblad is on the second power play unit, so that's just one of those angles that's intriguing to me, Steele. That even though now they're Two of their most important pieces are back around the blue line. Oliver ekman Larson has had a good enough start that he is still going to be a valuable piece on that power play. So that's just another one of those wrinkles I just wanted to mention. But my bad about that little hiccup. Please take it away with your struggling fantasy stars that could use a change of scenery. No worries. No worries at all. Struggling fantasy players that could definitely use a change of scenery. We've got a couple of, uh, of the same players or at least from the same team. And I'm going to start off with uh, a player that we've talked about a decent amount about over the last week. And that's Patrick line of the Columbus blue jackets. You know, Columbus is paying $8.7 million right now for garbage over the next three seasons. He, uh, he has a modified no trade clause. So he uh, submits a a team of uh, 10 teams that he doesn't want to be traded to, Mm. but this is honestly (laughs) just very sad to watch the downfall of Patrick line over the last five seasons, you know, going for a second overall pick, uh, scoring 30 plus goals, even a 40 goal season in his first uh-huh. three years in Winnipeg. Obviously, some some uh, locker room issues, some attitude issues when he was there with the Winnipeg Jets. Clearly, sure. uh, you know it's obviously something that he needs to work on because he's been benched, he's been healthy scratched before, not just this recent times in Columbus. You know, obvi- again, going from scoring 30 plus goals in a season to barely scratching 20 goals and just having a knack for getting these fluky injuries all the time. It's it's just a player. Yeah. Again, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to say how much value he has, but it, it's hard when he gets injured all the time and he's getting mm. healthy scratched and he's getting benched for the late stages of the third period. Yeah. But again, this is a player that we know can score goals, but just has zero confidence in his game or just lack of effort uh, all around. I hate to chalk things up to injury, but injuries. The guy can't stay healthy, Steel, and I know that's not it here. It's clearly not because some players do get knocked up. They get banged up, but they come back and they perform. And I know he's done that to certain degrees of success. Tampa or Tampa Bay. His days in Winnipeg, I remember there was a little while there when Matthews and Line a were going toe-to-toe because of their discrepancy in the draft who was better there for a little while. Uh, I think we know who was better then and who's better now. Anyhow, Patrick Laine, when he has been healthy, though, Steele, for those limited stretches, you can't help but be excited about his potential for fantasy offensive success. But I think there is a lot of things going wrong here in Columbus. And actually, I have a player on my list that could really use a change of scenery as well, because much like 
the guy I'm going to get to, and I think more so with him, but I'm not going to tease it. Nice deal. That's what I'm getting at here. I don't think Patrick Laine is fully done yet. I think he needs to have a little bit of a reduced role. Sure, the contract is the contract. That's not his fault. I think he really needs to be put in the right position to succeed. I'm thinking second power play unit. I'm thinking reduced minutes. I'm thinking insulate him with a couple of really good kind of two-way type players because obviously he can't do that. Maybe he still really does hold some fantasy success. I don't know what team could pull that off given the contract that he has. But I really do like that you're highlighting him because he goes right along with my guy. And I'll bring it up right now. It's Johnny Goudreau. Johnny Goudreau has been downright awful, steel, And I understand the contract situation. I understand that it would really take a whole lot of moving parts to get Johnny Goudreau and all that money to move somewhere. But what I'm thinking right now with this Columbus Blue Jackets team, and you can see the graphic up here right now. I'm going to talk about UC Saros and Anders Lee as well. Peep those graphics on YouTube. We're bringing that heat every episode, people. Smash that subscribe button by the by. Two goals steal, five assists, 46 shots for Johnny Goudreau. Over the last five games steal, he's put up two or less shots six times. Sorry, over the last seven games, six times he's put up two or less shots. This guy is a shell of his former self. But why I'm liking the angle for if it was a change, I, he just looks like a like he's going through the motions, much like Huberdo, who could have made this list. Change of scenery could have worked really well. I th- could work really well for this guy because look at what he could do with Matthew Kachuk. And I know Matthew Kachuk is a very, you know, huh, there's not many of him out there. But with the right type of player, which they don't have in Columbus, clearly, Goudreau isn't good enough to do it on his own is the point I'm making. So a change of scenery for me, Steel, is how you get the most out of this player because he's been downright embarrassing, and they both got benched the other night for all the third period. Yeah, it's definitely just tough when a lot of their uh, depth players as well are just young young prospects right now. Adam Fantilli, Marchenko, uh, and, a, and a few more others as well in their bottom sure. six. So both those players just not being able to find success with one another. Uh, mm-hmm. And obviously some pretty some pretty high contracts to negotiate and try to uh, move around of course. If, if they were to make a This is all hypothetical. All hypotheticals, all well. hypotheticals uh, uh, between, between these uh, targets right now. The next player I've got on my list moving forward it does come from the Calgary Flames, though, and that's someone that's been talked about over the last couple of months, honestly. It's mm-hmm. also Elias Lindholm. And for me, this player, he's making the most out of a bad situation right now. 12 sure. points in 17 games. He leads all the Flames right now, which is mm-hmm. just struggling offensively. He had 64 points last year, 82 points the year before that. And we know what this player is capable of. He's capable of 20-plus goals a season and 60-plus point potential. That's mm-hmm. what he's been able to do since he's arrived in Calgary and even uh, in the early stages with the Carolina Hurricanes in his NHL career. But we know he's not the guy you first go to or look towards when you really need a big play, but he is the guy you can depend on to make a play when needed. He's one of those, uh, he's one of those like Swiss army knife, uh, Swiss army knife type of players where he, you can put him in any situation with any players and he's just able to play a uh, play well with them and find that chemistry. And honestly, he reminds me of a more talented, skilled Callie Yarncroak, a guy that you can just move around all like over the ice too. and just fits mm-hmm. in perfectly. Sure. Um, but obviously way more talent than, than Yarko, yeah. Yarncro provides, even though he's still undervalued. But nonetheless, Lindholm nonetheless. is just one of those guys that you can, again, put anywhere, and he does his job perfectly mm-hmm. with wh- whoever he's playing with. But for him to succeed, he needs to be on the same page with who he's playing with. And right now, Calgary and their players are just reading completely different books. So they're all out of sync. They're not finding the flow. They're not finding the chemistry, and that's something – that Lindholm needs to be successful. And again, he's one of those guys that you can just move around, but it's just, it's, it's not working in Calgary. Unlike perhaps line a and Goudreau who carry, you know, like very, very uh, spotty track records over the last, like, let's just say to start this season and, you know, the last two or three, perhaps maybe not Goudreau, but for sure line a, Elias Lindholm has been performing. And also there are legitimate rumors out there that he could be moved. He's not going anywhere until it's if it's not a contender. I believe I've read Carolina would be interested in a reunion there. I could see it. They could use that offensive punch. And if he now goes to a situation like that, because this is what we're talking about on today's episode, these are the angles that, sure, Elias Lindholm, 
right now you're probably pretty happy with what he's being able to put out of a pull out of a bad situation in Calgary. If he goes to a winner and he has that ability to do his thing, this is what we're talking about. And those are the situations that could take you over the top at that time of the fantasy season still right around the break. I got two more players that, I think one of them for sure also been rumored. He could even be headed to a Canadian club steal. We're both having our eyes on a goaltender right around the break. Let's talk about it. No bets. I feel weird. How about you take <laughs> us there though? It's definitely strange without big time bets at the end of the episode, but we've got a couple more targets we want to talk about. This mm -hmm. episode is also brought to you by eBay Motors. Passion, drive, and patience what brings home the winning trophy is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. From superchargers, superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more, whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered. With over 122 million parts from your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every single time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car into the MVP and bring home that win. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. apply. eBay guaranteed fit. Only available to U.S. customers. This is David Harrison of the Locked On Commanders podcast to draw your attention to the taste that's going down in the bread aisle. All thanks to Dave's Killer Bread, Bread Amplified. Anyone can bake bread, few can rock it, and Dave's Killer Bread is the champion of killer taste, killer texture, and is for those who want to rise above the boring. Organic and healthy doesn't have to mean boring when it's made with the highest quality organic and non-GMO ingredients packed with whole grains, fiber, and protein. 21 Whole Grains and Seeds Bread has a subtle sweetness and a seed-coated crust, while good seed products are the boldest and sweetest of all. Dave's Killer Bread was built on the belief that second chances can change lives because after spending 15 years in prison, not only did the guy with the guitar you see on every loaf turn his own life around, he's helping others to do the same. By hiring the best people for the job, regardless of their background, he's ensuring your mornings no longer taste like cardboard, your taste buds don't have to feel sedated, and your sandwiches can become superstars. Visit daveskillerbread.com to learn more and look for Dave's Killer Bread in the bread aisle of your favorite grocery store. And thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Continue to hit that subscribe, leave a follow, and a five-star review. We appreciate all that love and support you show us every single day. Three mm -hmm. more players, or I guess two more players, since Flip and I have got the same goalie we want to talk about. Uh, but Flip, I'll throw it back over to you, your second sure. player that you're looking at right now that need, that could find success after a move. Let's save that goalie for the end then, and I'll just spit this one out quick because when I look at a player in Anders Lee Steele, and I understand he's 33 years old, I understand that that contract right now headed into next season, 7 million AAV for two more years, might be hard to move a guy who right now has only two goals under his belt. But I can't help but feel he has been a victim of not having the right types of players to play with him over the last number of years in Long Island. And he has still 242 goals over his career. The, on Long Island has been a perennial situation of not being able to get it done offensively. And this guy's put up 34 goals, 40 goals, 28 goals, three times 28 goals. I really like his game when he's on it because he also can throw his body around. He regularly finished above 100 hits for the most part of his career, and I think he's just losing that fire a little bit of playing on Long Island. This is just the angle I have here, and I can't help but feel that going to a winner, his game, having some facilitators around him, I know this might be a bit of a bolder take steal, but I think his value goes way up. I was just looking at how poor of a start he's had. Two goals, one assist. You've talked a lot about Anders Lee. I know you've given up on him because you should have fantasy-wise for sure would have dropped him. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you might have to go out there and add him if he does get moved because I don't know what's happening on Long Island, Steel. And that's actually what I wanted to say about the other teams that I'm looking at here. If Columbus goes south, Calgary goes south, all these teams end up not panning out because right now they're at tipping points really for being hot garbage. A lot of these players we're talking about, 
you're going to have to pay attention to because there's a lot more of a likelihood they're on the move, and that includes veterans like Anders Lee. It does include, and I have talked about him quite frequently over the last week and a half two weeks because he was that droppable episode where he's just not yeah. worth holding on to anymore unless you're just looking for those peripherals with the hits blocks and shots on net so maybe something does happen and maybe he does get moved he has been there throughout his entire career and it, it would obviously be a very sad sad uh situation for lee and his family if that were to happen but maybe that's just what needs to happen now uh at this point and stage mm-hmm. of his career let's get yeah. to the last player though nashville predators goaltender uc soros uh this has been, uh, I don't I don't know. I, I think most people were on the same page about the expectations of the Nashville Predators, uh, Predators this year. I didn't think mm. UC Soros would be this bad, but maybe it's more about the team that's in front of him. But he's in his prime right now. He's 28 years old. Uh, this has been the worst season so far uh, statistically uh, for UC Soros, an eight, uh, 892 save percentage at 3.23 goals against average. He's never been below a 914 save percentage before. Uh, in a season. So this is very sad to see from the Nashville Predators. I understand they're going through a little bit of a rebuild, but Forsberg has been right. great. Ryan O'Reilly's been great, but UC Saros could, I know his name's also been there. Uh, you know, he's been, his name's been tossed out a couple of times that could be on the trade block. It makes sense to me, Steele. And actually when I pull up, you know, shout out to Cap Friendly, really, really good resource. He has had a very, very team-friendly AAV of $5 million and under contract for one more year, which yeah. obviously makes that a lot more appealing for any team trading for this guy. He's still elite, in my opinion, Steele. Yeah. He's having oh, yeah. a bad start to the year. And this is the prototypical situation of why you and I are having an episode and having this discussion. Because I swear to you, UC Soros is going to be on the move. This National Predators team is caught between David Poyle and turning the page for its next set of how they're going to play their game. But what I would also point out, and you know, his numbers are what they are, 4-9-0, 3.23 goals against, and an 8.92 save percentage. Anything below 900, you know, you're not really buying into it, but UC Soros has been elite. I don't want to give up on this guy, not even close. The, the, the point I wanted to make is, the National Predators actually haven't been that bad defensively. Yeah, they allow they allow the seventh least shots on net at under thirty. Most teams in the league now regularly average over thirty. They're one of the few that average under. So he's been getting some good blue line help in front of him. So this is what I'm really buying into. He needs to move to a new situation. He's been losing in Nashville for a long time. I know they had a couple of sniffs at it. But it's been a lot of losing in Nashville for the most part. And I think a team, you know, I hate to bring them up. I hate to bring them up. But the Toronto Maple Leafs, he'd look real good in blue and white steel. <laughs> I don't know how that would look because $5 million right now uh, for the Toronto Maple Leafs is, might as well be $15 million if you know what I mean, I'm they weren't willing to pay Jack Campbell that, but they might be willing to pay uh, UC Soros $5 million over the next year. I'm, I'm paying UC <laughs> Soros $5 million all day and all night. All I'm saying is... There's a lot of teams out there that could use a goaltender of his caliber, and he is the prototypical fit for this mold that we're discussing. And keep your eyes on UC Soros because I'm telling you, I even though he's struggling now, I would not bail on him because if he moves to a contender, you know he's that kind of goalie seal that goes on a heater at the end of the year, finishes like with a 10-2 and record, and takes you to the promised land. Yeah, and, and you again, that's one of the hottest commodities out there in the NHL is trying to find a superstar goaltender that can bring you uh, to the Stanley Cup and Stanley Cup finals and hopefully win that situation. It's what we saw from Aiden Hill last year when he took over. Obviously, a very crazy goalie carousel season for the Vegas Golden Knights. Mm-hmm. But those were the three players that could find success if they were to be uh, traded or moved. Uh, and, and their fantasy value would skyrocket. Thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. And again, Locked On has launched the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube. And Locked On Sports Today is here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with local experts of Locked On, plus the national shows covering every single league. So go to Locked On Sports Today on YouTube and subscribe to the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel. Thank you again for tuning in for today's episode with Flip and I. Have a great day. Good luck with all your bets out there. I guess there's no bets for Tuesday night, but we shall see you back here again on Wednesday. Peace.
Insurance with three A's. Let go of your insurance frustrations. Visit AAA.com slash insurance for a quote on auto and home. The Monday edition of Locked On NHL is a must listen. Every Monday on Locked On NHL, host Gil Martin takes you to the three biggest NHL stories from the weekend's games with the local experts of the Locked On Podcast Network. No national fluff. You get the real story from the Locked On experts who are with the team every day. Put it on your calendar every Monday on Locked On NHL. Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. We know you love watching your favorite Locked On podcasts on YouTube. You even told us you'd rather stay home in your underwear all day watching instead of going to work. So we say, why not? Introducing Locked On Sports Today, the first ever 24-7 live sports channel on YouTube. Locked On Sports Today brings you all-day coverage of the biggest stories in sports every day. Go beyond the headlines with the local insiders and league experts of the Locked On Podcast Network covering today's biggest stories. From the court to the field, to the rink and to the diamond, our winning roster of team and league hosts deliver all the big game coverage, in-depth analysis, and expert insights that sports fans crave. Watch Locked On Sports today on YouTube. It's nonstop sports for the nonstop fan. You can watch at work, too. We suggest you get dressed, though. Locked On Sports Today on YouTube. Local experts, biggest stories every day.